and here we are. So live after a week off. Um, had some family things, don't want to get into it. But yeah, here we are. We are back at Pokemon and we are back at the town because I figure what better way to start off with than by doing another couple classes. Hey, Kay! This is still loud in my ears. Give me just a sec. Okay. It's like, I thought I had it adjusted, and then I start actually trying to play, and it's like, oh wait, no, that's actually quite loud. Alright, let's take some classes. Um, well, we might as well take our language and art class. Hot out still. Yeah, well, you know, don't overheat. My dear students, how are you all today? Feeling good, I hope? Jemapel Salvatore, my name is Salvatore. Merci beaucoup, that is, thank you very much for your attention here in my class. I'm gonna mangle all of this French, it's fine. I'm gonna skip that word. Happy for this chance to re-experience my younger days with you all. Do you know what Salvatore means? It means savior, so just imagine I'm here to save you. Yeah, he's got some cool clothes. I'll save you from spooky new languages. Haha, -ha, funny, no? That's right, my classes will teach you about various languages from different regions. The random French is hurting your brain. <laughs> I'm sure I'm pronouncing it all very poorly, too. You may say good morning or hello as a greeting, but people from elsewhere may, s may say bonjour or salut. I don't know if I'm supposed to pronounce that T or not. I've heard there's even a popular streamer out there who smashes several languages together and says hello, hello, hola, ciao, and bonjour. There are so many regions out there in our world, and each can have their own unique languages. These all have the same meaning. Can you guess what it is? means thank you. Oh, Yurgs, was it? Brava, that's correct. And speaking up is important in language learning, too. So you like totally your knowledge. Packaging French. All product packaging is bilingual, so you know those, that kind of stuff. Yeah, I feel it. I know a very small amount of uh, Spanish. Um, not enough to get by, but like I can read it better than I can speak it. These words are... All mean thank you. I guess some of you probably knew at least one of those. Despite meaning the same thing, their links and sounds are all different. Isn't that interesting? And now, apropos of nothing, let me give you all one of my wise words of advice. When you travel abroad, you should try to speak the local language as much as you can, even if you can't speak it very well. I'm sure your willingness to try will make the people you meet very happy. Honestly, from my experience, just being able to say hello, delicious, and thank you in the local language will get you pretty far. Personally, I recommend also learning the word for bathroom, but this is a game where nobody has to go to the bathroom, so. For everything else, just pretend you're Mr. Mime and gesture away. <coughs> oh, there's that pesky bell. I guess that's all the time we have for today. Well, adios. Uh, more words I... Let's see. Matane a la prochan? I don't know. See you later, everyone. Help is probably useful too. Yeah. Or maybe hospital. Although, I think if you're actively on fire, it should be visibly obvious to people at least. But yeah, help is a good one. Let's take, let's take art. It's not likely to be full of languages that I don't understand. I love the drawings on the walls. Those are so cute. Greetings, I am Hassel. I will be teaching you this art class. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Yeah, I like it. I don't I wouldn't want to spend like a cup like a bunch of hours on it, but doing a few classes here and there has been fun. And this game is really long from what I've heard, so we've got time to space it all out. Now let me be candid for one moment. I imagine that many of you will forget about 
all that you learned in this class once you graduate. After all, you don't even need a basic understanding of artwork, much less a refined appreciation of beauty, for most exams or jobs. So is my cl class a waste of time for you, then? I think not. At least, I certainly hope it isn't. Think for a moment, all of you. What is beauty, anyway? What makes something beautiful? Uh, the eye of the beholder. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you, Yergs. Oh, I don't mean to suggest there's a correct answer to my query. The important thing is that you all take time to think about it. Think about why we might find beauty in a flower blooming on the side of the road, for example. Question why the sky is a different shade of blue than the ocean or why the leaves change color. Ponder the windmills of artisan and how they move. Contemplate the chilling bite of the waters of Cascarafa. I'm sure you will find that every little detail of your lives will seem more vivid, more impactful, if you just take a moment to stop and think. And I am certain that if you stop and truly appreciate the little beauties of this world, it will help pull you through the days where your studies have exhausted, or have you exhausted, or when work has dampened your spirits. Ah, do pardon me for waxing philosophical. You don't need to understand all of that now. To put it simply, it is true that one doesn't need art to survive, but it certainly makes surviving much more enjoyable. It is my hope that this class will add even a little bit of color to your lives. That's all for today. Next time, we'll try a more hands-on approach to appreciating beauty. I kind of want to take another art class, actually, because we didn't actually do anything. We just talked. <laughs> Yeah, let's take another art class. Hello class, it is I, Hassel, yet again. In our previous class, we discussed what beauty is, which might have been a little boring for you. So today I thought I would mix things up to pique your interest in art. Allow me to introduce our special guest. This is Professor Gibble, the assistant lecturer for today. Professor Gibble is adorable, I love them. Now then, Professor Gibble, if you would be so kind as to, uh, to terrestrialize for us. Some of you may already know, a Pokemon can terrestrialize if you use a Terra Orb. Normally, Professor Gibble would be of the Dragon type, but by terrestrializing, it succeeded in changing its type. So, class, what type do these lovely glistening flowers above Professor Gibble's head represent? Well, I'm gonna guess grass. None of the others make any sense. Excellent, Yurks, full marks for you. Oh yeah, no, that's that's like one of the gimmicks of this game. Uh, like once per fight, you can uh, use an orb thing on one of your Pokemon, and it'll uh, change type, and they start looking crystally and get like a big thing on top of their head. Yeah, it's kind of neat. The shape of the Terra Jewel above a Pokemon's head depends on the Pokemon's Terra type. To summarize, if an opponent's Pokemon terrestrializes during battle, observe the Terra Jewel closely to see what type it has become. They make it really large and obvious, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it is my sincere hope that today's lecture will help you all achieve beautiful victories. I like that the classes double as kind of teaching you how to play the game. Um, considering I haven't played a Pokemon game in a really long time, um, it, the classes have actually been mildly useful. Thank you, Professor Gibble, for your help. Cutie. And then we should also be able to talk to some of the professors outside of class, which is pretty cool.
Yo! Why, if it isn't Yurgs? I have a question for you. Do you find my class difficult? No, I like it. That is certainly good to hear. So, Yurgs, you chose to take on the gyms as part of your treasure hunt. That must mean you like Pokemon battles, is that correct? Yeah, they're fun. One naturally becomes skilled at doing what they enjoy. That must be why you are so strong. Ah, do forgive me for springing such an odd question upon you so suddenly. I often find myself pondering the nature of strength these days. Anyway, thank you again for your input, Yurgs. Yay, making a friend. The fact that my friend is my teacher is a little weird, but you know, here we go. There he is. Oh, Yurgs. Did you come all the way here to the staff room just to see me? Sure. I like your clothes. Haha, -ha, seems I finally made it into the hearts of my students. That makes me Trey happy. After all, like I said in our class, communication is very important. If there's anything you're confused about in class, or if you're having trouble here at the academy, you can always come here and tell me. Ah, uh, your friend Salvatore, that is. Yay! Can I talk to you? Hello, Yurks. Feel free to come ask me questions anytime. But you don't let me ask questions. Okay. I don't think there's anyone else that we can really talk to, so let's just go back and, uh... Let's go actually play some Pokemon. Pick a goal and, uh, see what we're gonna do. Okay, I was like, I'm pretty sure the door is there. Let's see, which button is the map? So we can basically do whatever we want, which is uh, mildly overwhelming. Let's see. We fought her last week and got our butts kicked. Um, so I'm prob probably not going to do that. Not right away, anyway. I want to level some people up. Uh, I'll do one more. Let's see, so these are places we can fly to if we want to. We've got a gym over here. That is one of the titans. Looks like another... Oh no, that's another one of the star crew. Um, okay, that's another titan. Um, well, where have we not wandered, I guess? Anyway, um, is there a way to... No. Nope, not that. Uh. That. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting the controls down again. Um. Oh, there we go. That's. Nope, that's not what I wanted. How do I. How do I get back to normal view? Oh, I guess that is normal view. Okay. Um. I mean, we might as well, uh, like, fly over here and just kind of explore, I guess. Check all of our Pokemon are are uh, healed, so we're good there. Um. 
Oh, okay, I know where we're at. Uh, I don't necessarily want to be here, here, but we can uh, climb up the mountain, maybe. Here, fight, fight the sheep. one of you. Nope, you are sort of in a wall. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I got caught by the rock rough first. <laughs> puppy versus puppy. I have one of you, so we're just gonna... No, you avoided my attack! So many levels higher than you, it's uh, not even funny. <laughs> yeah, the rock ref is so cute. Now, what I wanted to do was uh, maybe try catching one of them. That works. Let's see. I'm just gonna throw a ball at you. We are several levels higher than you. Just, just the, yeah. This, this is a Pokemon I think that's been around for like ever. No, I'm asleep. I don't want to like kill it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can no longer escape. That's fine. I'm more likely to uh, knock out this Pokemon than I am to uh, want to run away. Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. There's like one right behind me. That's funny. Its body is made of gas. Despite lacking substance, it can envelop an opponent of any size and cause suffocation. Yes, you do lose the ball if you don't capture it, but it's fine. They are they're fairly cheap and easy to come by. <laughs> yeah, a lot of these descriptions actually are mildly horrifying. It's great. Do I have one of you? No. Oh, and you want to fight. Okay. Hey! Hey, Cam! Oh, well, that just knocked it out. Uh, no, I have not seen the cool new Twitch thing because I don't keep up with that. Okay, I've got one of those. One of those. Oh, that sounds really annoying, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> I always hated it when Mixer uh, would let you do that. <laughs> Let's find a trainer. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like the kind of thing most people would love. I just... Yeah. <laughs> nope, okay, so that, that attack's not gonna work. I'll just lick you again.
yeah, being able to disable them viewer side, uh, probably a good idea. Um, more options is always better. Do I have one of those? Mm, I've seen one, I have not caught one yet. You want raid-based fireworks? I feel it. That sounds kind of pretty cool, actually. It's just, if there's too much going on, I start wanting to, uh, go somewhere else. But for, like, a raid or something, that sounds perfect. Dang, that attack hurt. You're not popular enough for it to be a regular thing. Okay. Eh, let's throw a regular Pokeball. You're paralyzed. Let's see, it's extremely quick to anger. It could be docile one moment, then thrashing away the next instant. Nah, I don't feel like coming up with names right now, so you can go to the box. But if I need a fighting type... Have I been there? I think so. I think that's actually maybe the school? Oh, there's a Pokeball right here. Ooh, what are you? Oh, you're neat. This Drevis. Yay, I can't be confused. Yeah, I'm just gonna try throwing a ball. Neat, awesome. Let's see, it loves to bite and yank people's hair from behind without warning, just to see their shocked reactions. You're neat, um, but let's put you in the box for now because I like my current team. Yeah, okay, so that's that's where we came from. So we've climbed up the mountain. Looks like we're getting on towards morning, too. Ooh, what are you? I don't think I've seen one of you before. Oh, well, we are... You are trying to engage me in a battle. I just want to see what you... Nope, nope, it's a manky. <laughs> Avoided the attack. There. Tad bulb. Okay. But I'm going to heal you. You are weird looking. Okay, cool.
There we go. Let's see, probably should uh, switch out who's in the lead soon. All right, Tadbulb. It floats using the electricity stored in its body. When thunderclouds are around, Tadbulbs will float higher off the ground. That's our starter. Let's. Ooh. Thank you for the honey. Let's put you in front. Uh, lead Pokemon. I don't want to jump back down the mountain for that. That's okay. Um. get over that gulch yet, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I can jump that up. Even, even, even with this. Oh, there's a bridge over here, okay. slide right down. Nope, 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 I'm going down. Well, there's some fish down here. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. Okay. Oh, nice. I teleported back to the top of the ridge. <laughs> cannot throw a Pokeball that far. That's okay. So yeah, that's across the river. We can't get over there right now. That's okay. Let's go back this way. Ice type. Floppy shuddered. Okay. Ouch. Okay. You know, maybe we should uh, swap to someone who's not gonna get that hurt. angry now. Oh, I hurt myself. Okay, yeah, all right.
getting the ball. <laughs> I think I already have one of you, but. Yeah, that is a very large crab. It's not even the biggest crab we've seen. Yeah, so it's a water Pokemon that when you use the orb thing on it, will turn into an ice Pokemon. Which is neat. Here, if I put this one out front, I can just, uh... Big crab. <laughs> I don't know if there's anything else along this riverbank. Honestly, I should probably just continue on, but... They've given me the ability to wander, and I'm probably just gonna walk circles around a very small area. Where are you? Do I have one of you? I do have one of you. Okay. Okay, I think I've hit a wall. So we cannot go any farther in this direction, which is probably for the best. <laughs> well, let's grab all the Pokeballs. Another TM? Endure. Endures any attack with at least one HP. Nice. the road. <laughs> Couldn't have been that long ago, was it? Oh, there it is. Okay. There we go. Ooh, trainer. Hi. Hey there, I'm hitchhiking. Can I catch a ride on your Pokemon? Pokeball mushroom. I don't think you're, uh, it's a fungus. Okay. I don't think you're, uh, any match for my giant crab, though. Yeah, well, you're the one who started a Pokemon battle. It's easy to get places using the flying taxi, but that takes all the fun out of traveling. Oh, there's a Poke uh, Center up here, too. Do I have one of you? Flittle, no. Tiny little baby attack. Nope, oh, nope, that just took it straight out. Okay. Cool, are we approaching a city? We might be. I don't think we've been to this Pokestop yet. Eh, might as well heal. Gonna work on some games you love. Awesome, yeah. I'm always glad when you can stop in. You have some fun. Is there a guy around here saying that, you know, they're giving out prizes for fighting trainers or not at this one? 
Okay, not at this one. Let's check the map. Alright, so we're kind of near that. Might, might, might go for that. Oh, here... Nope, get away from me, Rockcroft. There. Let's just keep going, shall we? Ooh, what's that over there? It's like a big tower thing. And a trainer over here too. Go fight you in a second. Okay. That's cool. it is it's like across the way I don't know that's neato though all right I don't know if we can even get up there yet oh wow look at all the windmills all right trainer what you got if we can avoid the uh whatever those ones are if you win you gotta buy my CD or if I win you've gotta buy my CD I mean, if your CD's good, maybe I'd buy it anyway. Take that. I really need to get somewhere with slightly higher level if I actually want to, like, level up. But, you know. No one buys CDs anymore. I buy CDs. It's been a little while, but that's because there hasn't been anything I actually want. Streaming is temporary, but uh, CDs will last at least as long as the uh, physical CD itself lasts. Which is not infinite, but, you know, it's longer than most streaming services. I'm getting a phone call. Hey, what's up? Yo, Yurgs. So from what I gather, it seems like the open sky titan lives somewhere up on this mountain. But there are all these crazy boulders raining down from the mountain, too. It's gonna be a little tricky to stand around and look for the titan while dodging all those. I think you'll be sent, sent flying if you get hit by a falling boulder, but maybe you could power your way through atop that brute of yours. Oh, wrong button. Oh, I need to heal you, too. It's this button I wanted. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at all those rocks up there. It's funny. I have to remember how to sprint. I think it... Oh, I can climb this? Heck yeah. I gotta, I gotta find the right rate of a uh, run to a uh, rotate camera. Okay, let's not, let's not make ourselves seasick. Neat. Uh, camera. Okay. How to get down here without just like straight up jumping off. Oh lord, can I like first person cam it or no? Okay, better. Ah, no, 
Don't want that. Oh, look, there's a little picnic spot over here. Hey there. Yay, I got some sandwich ingredients. Yeah, let's take a break. Working hard is key, but so is getting off your feet now and then. Besides, you can't enjoy the scenery when you're always on the move. Not wrong. Another Pokemon trainer? Hi. I want to get to the peak, but I can't even get close. Enrique the student. Pineco. That's an interesting looking Pokemon. I don't think I've seen one of those yet. No, okay, that was not a good move for that. But your defense is down. Bug bite. Okay, so you're like, I guess a bug. That's okay, I don't know Pokemon typing, so it doesn't matter. Self-destruct. Yeah, why not? It's not very effective. Bye, Pineco! Nimble. That's another bug. That one I know is a bug. It's like a little cricket thing. Yeah. Let's throw a rock at you. Yay! You're even wilder than the rolling boulders! Are there any other ones we can climb? That was cool. Okay, uh... Probably not. Let's... At least I don't see any more staircases. Nope, get out of here, Rock Ruff. Let's heal again real quick. Like, I could set up my own picnic, but this doesn't take any, uh, you know, um, ingredients. Okay. So we do that, and I think a sprint is, yeah, push the button in. Okay. Zoom! Oh, I made it to the top. Okay. It's a giant bird! Um... I don't know, let's throw a rock at a bird. Okay, not very effective. Oh, that was a good hit, okay. Oh, and it's running away. Dear. Yurgs, you managed to get to the Titan somehow, huh? So that's the Open Sky Titan. Wait, is this Titan what's been dropping all those boulders? You couldn't see that from a distance? I was lucky enough to sneak up here because it had, it had all its attention on you, little bud. Looks like it's trying to power itself up, like with some kind of mystical meal power or something. So we better be ready to go all out. Strong bird. Uh, move him though. Let's 
let's try that. Trying to drop rocks on folks is dangerous. Let's th give this thing a good taste of defeat. Nice hit. Awesome. Okay. Made it slower. Isn't that hard, but I don't I don't think it was supposed to be. <laughs> Yay, Krabby leveled up. Ooh, rock blast. Rock blast. Ninety percent uh two to five times. So it's at, at minimum as good as rock throw. So we're gonna ditch that. Baton pass. Oh, that's bun. Okay. What does baton pass do? User switches places with a party Pokemon in waiting and passes along any stat changes. You know, I don't care about that. We can always get it later if we want to. Are you evolving? Yes! You're now you're a full-on uh, bread dog. You're uh, d d evolved into a dock spun. See, the surface of this Pokemon's skin hardens when exposed to intense heat, and its body has an appetizing aroma. It's adorable! Love it. Oh, hey! Hey, Daz. You still could need a whole one, yeah. Yes! Way to go, Yergs! Looks like we don't have to worry about any more boulders falling on us now, huh? Even with the cinnamon bun ears? Yeah. As I say, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's one of the new ones with this, um with this game, and I, I really do love it. There has to be more of that Herba Mystica at Aiden here. Yep, yep, yep. If we're lucky, yep. Our big empty cave. It really is here. This is one of the herbs, make no mistake. Woohoo, we did it. Thanks, Yurks. Now then, let's see. What does the book have to say? It's great for your circulation. It really gets the blood flowing, and that warms you right up, nice and toasty, even boosting the immune system. Or so it says. If I can just slip this into a tasty sandwich and get him to eat some... Well, what are we waiting for, Yurgs? It's time to dig in. Let me whip something up for us. And Bob's your uncle. Here you go, my special whimsical herb-filled super sandwich. And it comes with a side of Titan Badge as a to token of my gratitude, of course. Somebody uses a lot of volumizer in their hair. Yes. Yes, he does. Although a lot of people in this game have totally wild hair. His is actually one of the more normal. Like, you should see our teachers. Aw, oh, come on. You again? Just hungry. Yes, you can have some sandwich. Although, why we can't just cut it in half and give you half, I have no idea. Huh, is it trying to say thanks or something? Well, good thing I made extra. 
you're helping me out a whole bunch with the hard stuff, so it's only fair that you get more. I definitely, absolutely did not make extra so that Maridon could have a sandwich, okay? <laughs> it's like a big puppy. We can, oh, we can swim now, awesome. Did it grow stronger again? That's a yes. Man, these Urban Mystica really do pack a punch, don't they? I mean, they'd better, or else I'm really up the creek. No, that's not your sandwich. Don't you dare touch that. That isn't for you. Uh, sorry. I shouldn't have shouted like that. I guess I should at least tell you the full story, Yergs. Come on out, bud. This is Mabistiff, my partner. You're not doing so good. Here you go, bud. Eat up. This sandwich should help you feel better. Slowly now, take your time. Yeah, he's just an old doggy. Small bites are fine, just chew nice and slow. My buddy here was hurt pretty bad a while ago. Real bad, in fact. He never really recovered. Nothing seems to help. Not potions, not Pokemon centers, nothing. Mabistiff here is the only thing in the world I care about. The only thing. So I promised that I'd make him better. Whatever it takes. I searched online, I read books, I looked all over and tried every cure and remedy I could find. But nothing really worked. I'd almost given up hope. That's when I found out about the Herba Mystica. Uh, what is this book? I found it in my dad's lab. This area Zero is home to wondrous herbs that instantly impart vigor when eaten. Uh, give me a sec. Go on, horse. We dubbed them Herba Mystica and attempted to grow some in areas around Paldea. However, before we could harvest, the herbs were eaten by Pokemon, which in turn grew large and strong. We call these Titan Pokemon. It's this book full of crazy stories and legends and things, stuff nobody'd usually believe. But I believe it. I think what it says is true. And according to this book, eating all five Herba Mystica can cure anything that ails you. Case in point, Mabasif's paws were cold as ice before he ate that last herb, but they've warmed up a little now. I'm sure they have. Oh, you done eating, bud? Nah. Mabistiff, can, can you see? Are your eyes open? Yes, I did it. It's been so long since he's been he was able to open his eyes. I was so worried. Oh man, I'm so I'm so glad. I gotta make the puppy better. Aw, oh, look at him. Those fiery orange little eyes. Hard to even tell if they're open or not, but I know the difference. The power of these herbs is amazing. I knew the book wasn't lying. I'm gonna bring Mabistiff back to full health. I swear it. Oh, uh, yeah, so that's my story. Three herbs to go. Let's find them together. So we now have the power to swim, which is nice. Hello, Yurgs. This is Turo. I detect that Maridon has regained more of its original power. While riding upon it, it seems you should now be able to move across water. If you press B while you're in water, you can even jump. I'm relying on you to continue taking good care of Maridon. Cool. Pokedex has been updated. Let's see, so... Back down. Uh, let's, 
let's ride the Pokemon down, because, uh, that's a bit of a walk. Oop, oh, ran into a rock rough. I wanna go, like, jump in a lake or something. See if we can swim. Oop, Pokeball over here. Oh, gosh. Do I have one of you? A Flabebe. Yes, I do have one of you. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Um. Don't, don't knock it out. Oh, nope, that knocked it out. All right, that was super effective. That's okay. There's, like, three of them over here in different colors. This one's blue. Let's try Rock Smash. Just get a couple of little hits in. Very wind. I think one more should do it. Yeah, alright, cool. Kick me in the face a little. Okay, Pokeball. I should really take stock of what kinds of Pokeball I actually have in my inventory. Yay, we caught it. Oh, nice. X leveled up. Blue flower. This Pokemon likes blue flowers best of all. It floats upwards using the power emanating from its flower and bobs along lightly through the air. It's cute. No, I don't feel like nicknaming you. Go to the box. Looks like you might uh, evolve too. Looks like there's just ones for different colored flowers. That's neat. Probably not gonna like bother trying to catch all of them. Anything up along here? Oh, are we back to the... Oh, well, no, actually we're not. We're just kind of here. I wonder where it is. Hi. I wonder where that shrine is that has the Ruin Us Pokemon sealed inside. You are challenged by Maya the Student. Oh, it's cute! Oh wow, that, that, that worked. <laughs> ah, you've ruined us! So what was that you were talking about? I read in a book that the Ruinous Pokemon was sealed in a shrine around here, but, uh, what's a Ruinous Pokemon? You sure they didn't mean Ruinous? Ooh, helping hand. We could jump off a cliff. Don't recommend it. We could, though. get through here without hitting a bunch of tiny Pokemon. Oh, there's another one of those things. I do want to check something. Oh, wait. Actually, no, there it is. I bet that's it. Rocks at a rock Pokemon. That's a great idea. Not 
not very effective. Good, good. Oh, ooh, okay. So my attack's gonna go up. I don't wanna knock it out. Uh, I wanna catch it. Nope, you avoided it. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna switch Pokemon. I'll swipe. Yep, yep, throw a rock at me. It's fine. Okay, so it doesn't do a lot, but hey, go to sleep. asleep. Who do we want to put in? I don't... Like, I don't want to do, like, good attacks. No, I got out. Okay. Hey, good. Still asleep. Why did everything turn purple? That's funny. Okay, good. So please stay asleep. Let's try a bite. Get better. Oh no, it woke up. Alright. use the same move twice in a row. That's fine. Um, do one more of these. Oh. Fine. We'll do one of these. Alright. Oh, still, uh... Let's keep throwing gray balls at it. Dang it. Yeah, I already have that status condition, thanks. <sighs> Let somebody... Okay, you haven't. Not very effective. That's fine. Um, ouch. Okay, that hurt. Nope. Oh, you're probably going to knock me out here. That's okay. bun back. Um. Are 
you still under... No, you're not. Okay. Click. Let's see, I should have... Yeah, I've got a revive. I'm going to revive you. knocked you out. That's okay. We'll definitely need to heal everybody up after this, though. Bring you in. Oh, it, you're down to, uh, red. Okay, that's a good idea. Okay. Got it. Awesome. Bombardier was caught. Oh good, we got a couple level ups. Let's see, Bombardier uses the apron on its chest to bundle up food which it carries back to its nest. It enjoys dropping things that make loud noises. No, um, I want to see your summary. I'll look at you for a little bit. Just because you're an interesting Pokemon. Also, Floppy is out cold. surprised if there's like some towers and stuff around here. There's a uh, um Poke Center here. That's another star star team thing. Um, okay, so we really haven't gone that far, but what's this? Ah, another one of the Titans, okay. Um Powers up rock type moves. Interesting. Okay. We are going to. Oh, I think I have to go into the bag to do that. Um... Let's see. I'm going to grab the honey. Thank you. Put you. Oh, who do I want to put in front? Um. Maybe you. Just try to level everybody up. No, actually, we'll put you in front because you're a little bit lower level. All right. Uh. This is a pretty open area, so we could probably do a quick picnic here. Yay! Hello, everybody. <laughs> oh, I'm standing in you, but... Oh, I just pet the uh, crab again. I want to pet the dog. Thank you. At some point, we're going to need to bring our starter back out in front, too. <laughs> Hi, 
cutie. So we can wash ya. Have a bath. Absolutely take the opportunity to do cute stuff with my Pokemon. Oh, I meant to hit the wash button. There we go. Haven't we haven't given you a bath yet? Yay, there we go. Yeah, might as well give you a bath. You're cute. Weird, but cute. And I think you're the only one left. It doesn't it doesn't uh, heal you or anything, but it's cute. Let's see, I can throw a ball. Have fun. Nothing in the basket, that's okay. Doesn't play. I'm gonna make a sandwich. I say we don't have the ingredients for most of these. It's just, uh, Bunch of cheese. We'll just make a ham and cheese. Eh, throw a couple pickles on there. Oh, nope. Okay, I guess that's the maximum number of things we can put on. Okay. go Just make a sandwich There we go, it's a ham and cheese. I could go for a ham and cheese, I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> Thank you. 
y'all had a good lunch. Let's see. So we're earning fighting experience points. I don't know if that's a, if we're fighting in a fighting type or if that's if uh, we are a fighting type regardless. Uh, more likely to find ground Pokemon, more likely to catch flying po uh, Pokemon. But anyway. Alright, let's pack up and go. So everyone should be completely healed. Everyone gets a little bit of experience for that, which is cool. And I got to spend some time with my Pokemon that wasn't just fighting. Okay, where do we want to go from here? Okay, that's up. I don't really want to go up. Where's, where's the path down, though? I don't know how we got here. I guess it was just this. Okay. Zoom. All right. There's a trainer over here. Oh no, we beat you already. Oh, there was a berry or something? Everstone, neat. To Cascarapa. Oh, yeah, there's a there's a TM. I don't know if I necessarily want to go into there yet, but... I think, yeah, there's a, at least a Pokemon Center down here. Oh, and there's another one of the Team Star Bases. I don't think we're high enough level to take that on, but we might, we might be uh, closer to being able to take on the one that kicked our backside before. Hey, let's talk. What do you got? Getting to interact with the locals where you go is one of the best parts of traveling. And by interacting, you mean uh, ambushing them with your wild animals that you keep in plastic balls. Oh, you've got an Eevee. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh right, I believe this Pokemon does extra damage with rock type of moves. So maybe we should make sure that it has rock type moves. Put it back. quite the character. And by that I mean, by that you mean uh, I am much higher level than I really should be. Kids from Padaire are pretty strong, huh? Hope I brought enough potions. Way stronger than I need to be for this area. good at uh oh that's a child I was like that that Pokemon is talking to me no it's a human child okay not very good at uh doing the uh uh targeting I'm trying to find a little Pokemon carrying a coin hey kid Teddy Ursa Try wing attack just to see. Maybe it all eyes. It's fine. Not bad, not bad. Let's throw some rocks at you though. I should see what TMs I have available. Really? Oh, because you keep dropping my attack, that's why. Tink. Uh, let's keep uh, current Pokemon. I would like to catch one of those. I think they're really cool looking. Mm. Let's see. To all 
of your Pokemon just have baby doll eyes? Gosh, okay. Okay, that is not very effective, so... Drop some more rocks on ya. Also not very effective. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so you now can't use the same move twice in a row. I don't know if that's a help or a hindrance here, so... I just want to try it. Yep, yep, that's fine. Defense fell. You've got a lot of status effects on me, that's for sure. took way longer than it should have. <laughs> I'm trying so hard, but I just can't find it. I just stare into the tall grass. That little Pokemon, that little coin Pokemon runs away fast. You can't catch it, but it drops a coin if you find it. Is there actually one here? I don't see or hear one, so we're probably fine here. Let's get down to the uh, Poke Center. How many trainers do I need to beat here? Oh, Pokemon League rep. Been having some nice Pokemon battles. You defeated eight. Nine. Okay. I lost close. Here, heal me up. Oh, that's the Pokemon. No, I'm good. It's nice that our uh, character never needs to sleep. Just run around for days on end. Yay, all better. Okay, now what, what do you have to see? What, what do you have to buy? How am I doing on Pokeballs? I have 16, 9, I get healer net balls on. Let's buy a few more of these. Cool. And us back up to an even 20. Cool. Anything else useful here? Probably use a couple of revives. Well, let's just buy two. Okay. Ah, probably good for now. Nope. Oh wait, actually, I think I have like uh, honey to sell. Is that? Yeah, okay, that's a selling item, that's a selling item. Yep, you can take that. Honey. Nice. We're basically back to where we were before we went shopping. Oh, we're good. Okay, TMs. If we find the rock type moves, what do we even have available? It's ground. I want rock. Oh, I have none available. Okay. Nope, I'm good. 
Do I have any in my inventory? Uh, dark water fighting grass, flying steel, normal fairy, flying psychic, normal fire. No, I don't. Okay. That's fine then. All right. This is another one of the team star bases. I don't think I'm high enough level though. Like I might be able to go back and fight the first one. Oh, what are you? Are you a bird thing? Oh yeah, we took it out, but that's neat. Well, at least now it's in our Pokedex. Oh, what, what are you? Oh, you're cute. I like you. A Numel. And I have not seen one before. It's getting pumped. Hey, want to get in a ball? Yay, okay. No more was caught. The flaming magma it stores in the hump on its back is the source of its tremendous power. So that is a fire type. Nice. Go to the box. Okay. Let's uh, try to catch one of these two. Swablu. Better. Okay. Fury attack. But we avoided it. Okay. That means I don't have to find out what it does. It can't relax if it or its surroundings are not clean. It wipes off dirt with, with its wings. You poor thing. <laughs> cool. Don't want one of you. Um... Oh, that's the direction we came from. All right. Nope, that's the direction we came from. <laughs> Oh, there's a town here. Nice. Oh, no. We can't get in there yet. Yeah, no, I, I can't get around that. But I bet I could jump off this cliff and, like, run around. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Bye! We are now in the desert. I don't really want to spend much time in the desert. But there's a Poké Center like right here and a whole town, so I might as well get it on the map. Can't see anything, it's fine. Kaskarafa. No, I don't think I fought anybody here. I kind of just jumped off a cliff. Zero trainers, yep. I don't need to heal because we just did that. But that is now on my list. Hey, we 
we can swim. Makes life easier. I, I would imagine that there's probably like a gym here. Yeah, it's like right up there actually. Let's see, uh, open map. Let's see. Oh, he's a chef. Cool. That's neat. Alright, uh... I've already taken on a lot of gems. Um... And by a lot, I mean like two, but... Food here. Why don't we jump back? Okay, so now that this is on our map, we can uh, teleport here anytime we want. There's a Titan there. There is another gym there. That is another city. Okay, I don't know if I necessarily want to go there yet. Uh, oh, there's stuff up here too? Okay. I think I want to go back and take her on. So where is the closest teleport? Probably here. Back. Uh, so that is our destination. So that we don't forget. Oh, and they turned and faced us to it. That's not super helpful. So where is... This is probably our best teleport. Fly here. Let's get something to drink. It's been a little bit. Awesome. Alright. So we want to go this way. Oh, pff, literally right there. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to try this again. Now that we're a little stronger, although... It's fire, so I feel like I should have... Oh, hey, Glammy! Who did I go with? Uh, the duck. Let's see, I'm going to put you in front anyway, because you're a water type, and we're about to take on a Pokemon, or a fire thing. Get away from me. Yay, finally. Oh, do you, do you not see people take the duck or something? I'm going to guess everybody takes the cat. Oh, I am inside of you as I try to uh, pet you. That's fine. I think the duck is cool. You went with a fire croc. Oh, awesome. Right, I was gonna check to see if I have in my boxes any more water types. Whoa. Oh, there it is. Okay. Most go fire crack. Interesting. I would expect most people to go the cat, honestly. Um, I want to see what water types I have. Not a lot, honestly. Oh yeah, you're the one we just caught a little bit ago. Um, we can, let's see. We will swap these two out because uh, Droopy's got just a false swipe on him. And then let's do a little leveling up. Um. Raises a level. Let's see. Okay, I don't actually know how many of these use. Fire Croc is just so darn cute. Plus, fire type is your go to. I mean, that's fair. Um, I, I The people I'm watching on YouTube who are playing this game, uh, they chose uh, the Fire Croc. 
cool. And we will just move you. Oh, change position. That's what I wanted. There, that should do it. Let's try this again. Oh, do I need to heal? Yeah, I do, okay. So happy when you finally beat the game? Okay, get back in the ball, okay. There we go. I will get there eventually. I'm really not that far in yet. So let's try this again. So the previous stream two weeks ago, this kicked our backside. So we're, we're just gonna give it another shot. Yes, please. Do we have to do the stuff at the beginning where we uh, do all the things? Oh no, we just go straight to the boss fight. Okay, cool. Get the dope who uh, picked a fight with you for a second time. Prepare to get messed up. Yeah, probably. You're still probably quite a bit higher level than me. They kicked your butt too? Yeah. It's just a lot harder than you would expect them to be compared to like the areas around them and like the people at the uh, gate. Uh, we're gonna give it a shot. I mean, at minimum, my starter is water, and you are a fire-type base, so... There's a shot? Okay. Yeah, okay, you made... Yeah, 27, see? Okay, which is... This one. Take that! Super effective, it takes almost no damage. Okay. This move will torch you till there ain't nothing but ash left. Ouch. That was for the rest of the Shutter Squad. I love that they get dialogue through these, though. It's neat. Uh... You know what? Let's just go super fancy and uh, just uh, boost the power of our moves. <laughs> Like, normally I would save it to the end when uh, she does the same thing in case uh, Floof here gets uh, knocked out, but you know what? Let's just, uh... Oh, you're confused! Yes! Stay confused! Hurt yourself! Do it! Yes! It's not a lot of uh, damage, but I'll take what I can get. Really? You still got hit points left. Okay. Oh, good. And you knocked it, knocked yourself out, it looks like. That's funny. I ain't burned to a crisp just yet. I do think it's hilarious that they make you fight the car itself. I think you're faster than me. Come on. Do it! Ugh. Such little damage. And you get a speed boost every time I hit you. I'm pretty sure. Ouch. 
Not very effective, my backside. Okay, well, you're probably, uh, you're gonna struggle, but, uh, it's fine. We'll just use our entire lineup, it'll be fine. Have a water pulse! So little damage. Oh good, the sunlight faded. Still gonna get my backside hurt, but... Dang, one hit. Blast is super effective here. Come on. Used overheat. Yeah, okay. I am I am on fire probably. Hi Cub! Really? I only hit twice. Okay. I'm just gonna keep trying, I guess. and one that is minimum of 50 that's close enough so we're just gonna do that again so we might get more okay good not not very effective oh come on one more hit yes i'm sorry i beat up your car you defeated mela of team star Okay, that was a that was easier than last time. <laughs> I love my giant silly crab. Ugh, is this really how it's gonna end? What a hassle! Flashback about a year and a half ago. Man, what a hassle! Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. Managed to get a bunch of Charcadet to evolve. Thought it'd be enough to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad tidings indeed. Is it not so, Ortega? I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Oh, shut it with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that? As if you're any better, Mela. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. That's not true, Ordy. The girls at the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. She just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. Although, I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. But come on, not you too, Ari. How about we leave it at that, folks? It's almost time for the big event. Yes, Operation Star is finally happening. For the big boss, what prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked him to head over to the schoolyard. It's finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. The thrill's burning me right up. I burned through everything I had, and now I'm sp I've sputtered out. Guess this is where it ends. That Quaxwell of yours really let us have it. No, my Quaxwell did hardly anything. It was my, uh, I think it's a Quaff. I, I named mine Krabby because it's easier to say. Beating me in battle is a huge deal. So here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. <laughs> Her handshake hurts. While I'm at it, you can have this TM too. Not like I'm gonna use it. Big crab is best crab. I love the big crab. Flame charge. Let me make one thing clear. I'm not giving these to you. I'm giving them to your Quaxwell. 
I don't think my Quaxwell can uh, use that one, but thank you. You got what, you're came, what, what you came for. Now leave me alone. You're Mela from Team Star, right? There's a Pokemon I'd like you to see. Huh? Who, who are you supposed to be? Ooh. A Char Cadet? Wait. Well, if it ain't Charlos, what are you doing here? Seems he came to the space looking for you. You did? He's very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Do you have any idea why Charlos wanted to visit you? <laughs> Charlos? To me, it looks like he's saying that he wants you to come back. Just shut it already, would ya? They say Team Star has holed itself up in these bases to plot something against the Academy. Were you aware of this? First I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. Man, nothing's changed since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. Then what about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile? We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with the big fight. We never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. You never used it before. And what's this about a big fight? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star, not Operation Star Fall? No, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Huh, yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. I don't remember if you get healed after these or not. Hm. More talking. <laughs> Yurgs, it's me. Seems Mela no longer carries her star badge, the symbol of her status as a boss. She gave it to you, did she? I see. Now that there's no boss to lead them, the rest of the Shutter Squad shouldn't last long. Oh, Mela. Sorry, got caught up in my thoughts for a second. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Yay, I got money. I can now make more kinds of TMs. Nice. The new TMs should help you improve your Pokemon's battle capabilities even further. In any case, you did some solid work out there, so much so that you deserve an extra reward. Someone from my supply unit will be there soon to give you some materials for making TMs. Hello, I'm Penny from the supply unit. You probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. I was glad to help. I like your hair. Oh, so you do remember. But, um, I'm helping out with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. You know, the treasure hunt? I'm good with machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. So, here you go. Your bonus reward from Cassiopeia. Yay, Pokemon materials. You should be able to make a ton of TMs with those. And you'll get even more rewards each time you take out one of Team Star's bases. Um, I heard all about how you had your Pokemon charge into battle. Seems you are pretty amazing. With a trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. There's four more squad bosses left, so, um, good luck! <laughs> Little wave. I love her bag so much. Alright. So let's go. Do I need to heal? Yes. <laughs> Oh, that is the wrong button. Well, crab can hang out. At least until I get out of range and uh, you teleport back to your ball. Have already gotten the reward here? Oh, yes. Let's take a nap. Awesome. Okay, so what what new TMs do we have? Oh, no, I wanted to do 
this, okay. Is there a way to like, I don't know. I wonder if there's any more rock type moves. Oh, I do have one, rock blast, oh. Um, I need a question mark. Thanks. What does watch do? Probably tell you when you have the materials, if I was gonna guess. Uh, how can we sort? Ooh, craftable first. Make mud slap. Oh yeah, maybe we should uh, go in here. Um, Swift, Flame Charge, and Sunny Day. Attack, okay, so that, that's a way to up your speed. I don't have anyone who can learn it on the party right now. But. Bullet Seed, two to five, so that's kind of like the rock one. Just. Uh, bug the or grass themed. Oh, I don't know why I was thinking bug. Mm. The heavier the target, the greater the move's power. Interesting. I think we th no, we're not through them all. Ghost, dragon, dark, steel. That's all of them, so nothing really I want to make, but good to know what we've got. Oh, there you are. I knew I heard you. Here, give me. Oh, that, that is the wrong button. Okay. Oh, okay. Didn't mean to zoom out quite that far. Um... What's over here? That is another Titan. Is there a way to see what you've completed? That That's what I wanna know. Um, is it on my profile, maybe? I think the Pokedex is gonna help. Um, um, it's through the map when you zoom all the way out. Okay, cool. Okay, so we're gonna pull the map back up. Zoom out, zoom out. Oh, there it is, okay. So, I mean, we might as well see if there's another one of the uh, star bases we can take on. Kind of bring those back up to even. So I guess we can go back over here where we were, because there was one over here, and I don't know, it's near the desert. Um, yeah, it was like right here. So if we teleport here, it should, well, we did kind of jump off a cliff, so we uh, probably want to go to this one and go around. Thank you, Glummy. Have I fought enough people here? No, this is the one that wants nine. Um. Nope, wrong button. Okay, I wanna make you my destination. So I pretty much just wanna follow the road. It'll be right there. Nope, I didn't want to fight you. I'm sorry. Oh, I don't have one of you. Oh, 
Oh right, I've got my starter out in front. I have no idea what your moves do anymore because it's been so long. Dang it. Dig. Okay. I can't really do much there. Is there just like a weight option? Uh, oh, we can swap out Pokemon. Mm, but my one with False Swipe isn't here, so that's not helpful. Well. Yeah, I can't hit you. You're underground. That's fine. Try again. Nope. Super effective, but it's such a the level difference that uh. Okay, this is probably just gonna take you out. Couldn't move. Okay. Okay, thank you. Just throw another Pokeball. Can I throw? No. <laughs> it's so good. It's impossible to aim at a Pokemon. Yeah, okay. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Always catch another one later. Hmm. Weasel leveled up. Oh right, I still have you in my party. Mm. Move always goes first. Oh, you could you could use another uh, water type move, but I probably am gonna swap my party out once we get over to the uh, base. Oh, gosh darn it. Pretty sure I do have one of you. Yeah. There. Over here, heal up the damage from that. Oh, I don't want the TM machine. Let's get off, get off uh, our Pokemon. Okay. Yep. Please heal me up from my poor choices. All right, we're just gonna hoof it on foot. Easier to avoid things when you are moving slower and aren't such a large target. <laughs> slower, though. Okay, I think maybe we're safe. So we're probably gonna get a phone call. Oh, nope, not a phone call, just Clive. Ah, it's you, Yergs. Hey, Clive. Yep, that's me, Clive, the normal academy student. Anyway, Yergs, I owe you one. Thanks to you, I've been accepted into Operation Starfall. Why did you join? I need answers, that's all. How do I resolve this situation with Team Star? And what what's causing its members' odd behavior? Team Star is the subject of more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worrying number of students to drop out of school. Others say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. 
But these are rumors. The matter I am directly confronted with is something else. I'm talking about Team Star's persistent truancy. They've all been skipping class for a while now. Five of them in, the, in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, haven't so much as set foot inside a classroom for over a year. And it seems the team's rank and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. That's why I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Steam Team Star to disband. I informed them that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with their team. But I'm afraid there's been no response, and the deadline I set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a more crucial time. It's Cassiopeia, can you hear me? Another time, then. Be careful. <laughs> He's a dork. <laughs> I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? No, it's just me. Well, be warned that Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. This base won't go down as easily as the last one. Proceed with extreme caution. I'll be in touch. I'm probably not high enough level for this anyway. Um, but we're going to give it a shot. Let's see. Wait, what are your... Banners. Oh, no, I didn't want that. I wanted to look at your banners more closely. Whoa, whoa, hold it, you. Up ahead's the base of operations for Team Star's Dark Crew. Okay, dark types. You may know us as the Se Sejin Squad. We don't take too kindly to random kids sniffing around our turf. Sorry, but if you don't turn yourself around here, Amigo, we'll have to send you packing. Wait, hold up. I'm just going on a hint here, but are you that Yurks kid? You know, that piece of work we're out to get for declaring war on Team Star? Maybe I am. Maybe I am, she says, cool as a cucumber. Honesty's not always the best policy, you know. Uh, you know what? It doesn't matter who you are. You're not getting through. Buzz off or get thrashed by me in battle, kid. What'll it be? Sassy kids like you are the worst. That's it. Prepare to get stomped into the dirt. Look how mad they get. Team Star Grunt. Muckro. Um, eh. Oh, yeah. And I made you a little slower. Not that it really matters, but... Take that! <laughs> why does such a sassy kid have to be so strong? Maybe that's why she, the kid was sassy. Oh, she can take you on. How the heck could I lose? Well, whatever. It's your problem now. Finish up here for me, would you, bud? Okay, thanks. Also, love you, Star. Runs away like a sissy. <laughs> Surely you've got more than one Pokemon. She's new to the team, you know. Might have to have a little chat with her about that attitude. <sighs> Well, I'm going to go into the base now and give the rest of the squad the heads up. We'll come at you full force if you set foot inside, so you might want to consider turning tail. Either way, best of luck to you, Amiga. Hasta la vista. I see you took care of the guards. Nice work. They didn't put up much of a fight. Now, hold up in that base is Team Star's Dark Crew, the Segan Squad. Their boss, Giacomo, pretty much runs the whole of Team Star, and he also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. He's a sharp guy. Even our declaration of war would, won't have ruffled him in the slightest. His plan is probably to wear you down with a wave of grunts, then finish you off himself. No use trying to outthink strategic types like him. Bring him down with a head-on attack. Just keep defeating as many Pokemon as you can until the big man himself shows up. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the second squad off the map. 
Okay. So before we go in, I want to rearrange my party a little bit and heal you. Um. Yeah, as it turns out, I don't know Pokemon types, and I'm not going to pretend to. So we're just going to do that. Um, okay, I don't want you on the team long term, though. Uh... Let's see, who do we have that might be good? These are all going to be pretty low level. Like, I could, of course, bring them back up, but... I think I'm just going to bring you back. Okay. And then you are definitely on the thing, and then probably red dog. Okay. Let's give it a shot. Probably gonna get our butts handed to us by the actual boss, but... We can at least have some fun with this. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads, and now she thinks she can take us on. Time to give her the boot, gang. Let's show this Gatecrasher what Team Star can do. And if you're listening, Gatecrasher, know this. Unless you can beat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss won't lift a finger to deal with the likes of you. Yep, okay. That's fine. Yeah, go get him. Go get him. Oh, I'm, you're running at the humans. That's fine. Yeah, go. Anybody? There we go. Get him, bun. Yeah, take him out. Like, I think this is a really neat way to do, like, a little battle thing. Who's around? Take that! Anyone over here? Nope, oh, here's some people. Get them! people up here. Like that. Heck yeah. Alright. Gotta find five more. In fact, I think there's five right here. One more. Is there one more over here? Maybe not. There we go. She's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. I'm hoping this will be of similar difficulty to uh, the fire one, if only for the fact that um, it's also fairly near some of the uh, easier gems. Giacomo. You've done a real number on us, Party Crasher. Yurgs, was it? I'm Giacomo. At the deck, I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever, it's a vibe either way. Nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. These characters are all actually a lot of fun. The last full Pokemon I, game I played before this, I'm pretty sure the premise was like, someone's trying to destroy the world! So it's nice that these are just a bunch of, like, school punks. <laughs> okay, so you are probably, uh... Yeah, 
side. You don't think things through, do you? Declaring war on Team Star is a real bad move. Probably a bad type matchup, but you know what? Oh no, that was a good hit, actually. Aerial Ace. Eh, that's fine. How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. Okay, so they're... Oh, only level 21 on that one. Okay, I think we'll be okay. The... Yeah! Cool, okay, we're to the car already. Time to up the tempo. This show ain't over, over yet. Intimidate. So my attack has gone down. Oh, you're only at level 20. This is this is easier than the other one. Okay. Ouch. It's fine. Yeah, you're gonna get faster. It's fine. Super effective. Okay, I might have one more hit in me. Metal sound. Okay, I don't know that move. Drop my defense. Okay. Okay, because I want XP from this fight, I'm gonna swap you out ASAP. Okay. Uh, here, you come in. Yeah, honestly, I think uh, this one, level-wise, is lower than... Um, the other one. That was like 27 or something. Snarl. Little hit. It's fine. Special attack bell. That's alright. We are going to... Ooh, rock smash is super effective. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, alright. Drop my defense. It's fine. I think actually though, what I want to do is do that. Have a big shiny uh, uh, cloth. I really hope that that's uh, rock type. I didn't really think about it. I just assumed. Yep, snarl. Yep. Anger shell, okay. So I might actually get knocked out by this, but. Come on, do it. No, you avoided the attack. Uh... Okay, good. How are you avoiding the attack? Alright, alright, alright. Toughed it out so I wouldn't feel sad. Rock Tomb. Avoided the attack, okay. Yep, alright, so you're gonna faint, that's fine. Interesting, alright. Who are we gonna put in? Mm, play rough is super effective. You don't have a lot of, um... Oh, wow, this Pokemon takes no damage when hit by fire-type moves. Instead, its defense stat is sharply boosted. That is neat. Okay. Not helpful here, but neat. Play rough. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Guess that's that. What's up, Giacomo? Did something happen? The big boss just wanted my take on some stuff, so we had a chat and settled on a few plans. Few plans? Like, for what? 
Operation Star first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know how tons of new members have joined up recently? Well, we figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Nice, you'll come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ha, no thanks, way too much pressure. I mean, yeah, I used to be president of the student council, but you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know, you forced a ton of stuffy rules on everyone and they wouldn't take it. We got some other nerd to replace you after, like, five minutes. I cannot help but concur. Male student's hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape, and, no f and so forth? Your rules were vexation made manifest. My point exactly, so you'll all agree that I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. But you always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. You've earned our trust many times over. Without you, Team Star just wouldn't work. That stuck-up student council prize isn't who you are anymore, man. Code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now, I'd follow that any day. As would I. Okay, okay, thanks for the ego boost, everyone. I'll do it, I'll write up the darn code. I did the best I could. I wrote that code myself, and there's no going back on it now. My days as a boss are over. So here, take my star badge, would you? Ah, see, your handshake doesn't hurt. <laughs> I'll give you this choice TM2. You earned it fair and square. Foul play. The user turns the target's strength against it. The higher the target's attack stat, the greater the damage this move inflicts. Interesting. Ha, so this is how the party ends. But let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. They're crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer traps at the academy? Like what moves you should use and stuff? No. But we could say yes. Huh, okay, you like it at the academy having fun? Yeah, it's fine. No kidding. Sorry to interrupt, but are you Giacomo? Whoa, ho wasn't expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. You get a Quaxwell to style that up for you? I'm just after a quick word. Would you mind? Sure, I can tell it's going to be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. Seems all of you in Team Star are headed for expulsion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? That's what you want to know? As it happens, we're actually waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they'll be coming back. A pal? A close friend of yours, are they? They're only the strongest boss in all of Team Star. Like how there's a top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? They're the one who invited us other bosses to form the team. We call them the Big Boss. And where is this Big Boss of yours now? Wouldn't we like to know? We haven't heard from him in, I don't know, must be a year and a half now. We thought that if we kept Team Star going, then they'd get back in touch one day. But the teachers can keep pressing us to call it quits, and then we get party crashers like you two. Maybe the big boss did ditch us. They were talking about breaking up the team before and all. So, Team Star and this big boss of yours, they're really that important to you? Heh, <laughs> is the sky blue? Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure. The real treasure was the friends we made along the way. At least in their case, it seems to be so. <laughs> Yurgs, it's me. I take it that Giacomo's star badge is now in your possession. I see. With its boss out of the picture, the Sagan squad is pretty much done for. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Now, about your reward. I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. And I can now make more TMs! Bonus materials! Cool. Hello, it's me again from the supply unit. Ah, what the heck? Aw, oh, it likes you. Hey, stop that. I relate, I get it. Somebody help! Dogs tend to like me and I'm terrified of them. <laughs> It drooled all over me. What even is that Pokemon, anyway? I have no idea. 
Huh, I'm amazed you're so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon at your side. And, uh, before I forget, here's your reward. Uh, your name's Yurgs, right? Since you're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit, can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? They're pretty strong. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying, or they just found it hard to interact with people. But then these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. But uh, that's just info I got by hacking under other students' social media accounts. I also found talk about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses, someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. Huh, I don't normally talk this much. Now my throat kind of hurts. You know, I feel you, Penny. We might just, uh, go run around and, like, fight Pokemon so I don't have to read dialogue. So good luck with taking down the other bosses and stuff. Still want her bag. Yay, okay, so we can now make more things. And that roadblock should be out of our way, so we don't have to jump off a cliff to get back into that town. I mean, we could also just teleport, but, you know. Yep, we can now get to the town. Oh, there's a trainer here. That barricade. It's gone. I made it go away. The barricade over there is part of a Team Star base. Team Star is trouble, so battle me instead. Uh, I took on Team Star just fine, thanks. Okay, yeah, I'll fight your Magikarp. Bye, Magikarp. Aracuda. Probably another fish. Oh, and I got a heal, too. Ah, uh, Krabby's out cold. Beat up your fish. <laughs> I'm sure there's fine. There's a Pokemon Center right there. Ooh. Hex leveled up. I guess I couldn't trick you even with such a slick battle invitation. Okay. Nope, wrong way. Let's go heal. Let's heal. The rest of the team should be all better. Yay. Let's see what uh, teams we've unlocked. I wish there was- can we sort by newest? No. Okay, well. Um... Yeah, actually, let's make one of these. The only one who can. I don't really care about torment. Cool. Oh, I should name. If I'm gonna keep the bird on my team, I should really name it. Oh, I'll think about that. But let's see. I don't wanna do the gym here, but there might be like a. Uh, at least not yet, but there might be, um... 
shops. Shops is the word I was looking for. Okay. I think I'm actually going to put you in front anyway so that you can level up a bit. I wanted the map. Yeah, oh yeah, the, gosh, there's a ton of shops here. Oh my goodness. Okay. Looks like plenty of foods. Oh, there's some clothes stores. Look at the clothes stores. So this is a glasses place. So these are all just uh, round glasses. Okay. Sunglasses? No. Square glasses. Those are kind of cute. Mm, that doesn't really work for me, though. Oval. You know, whatever glasses I'm currently wearing are fine. I'm just curious. Sporty sunglasses. Yeah, I'm, I'm done shopping. Thank you. What glasses am I wearing? Oh, just normal ones. Okay. Ooh, TM. Sleep talk. The user randomly uses one of the move... Okay, I didn't get a chance to read that all the way. I'm actually curious what that was. Newest first. Thank you. Sleep talk, okay. Uh, randomly uses one of the moves it knows. It can only be used while the user is asleep. Interesting, okay. Let me out. Oh, hat shop. Oh, that's cute. I mean, I like our little bucket hat, but these are nice. I like these. Okay, I'm feeling the pink. Ooh, square cap. What do these look like? Oh, that's cute, too. Oh, this isn't fair. Okay, I've got the option to play dress up, and uh, I'm going to waste all my money on clothing. So... Oh, here's some more bucket hats. Nah, I already have a bucket hat that I like. Okay. Oh, they've got patterned ones? <gasps> it's a space hat! I love it. Okay, um. Oh, I'm gonna buy this for sure. No, not yet. And then we're gonna buy the space hat. No, not yet. Yes, I am done shopping here. Okay, so it's not quite a bucket hat that I'm wearing, but it's like a, a little summer cap. Keep the sun off your face. It's over here. Oh. oh, you sell bags. I like my bag, but what else you got? Okay, I don't like those. Just shape-wise, I don't care for it. Although, I like the color pattern on that one. No, okay, is that all you have? Okay. Yeah, don't don't care for these. It's just This is probably a food shop. Oh, picnic stuff. We can get, uh... Neat, okay. Oh, 
these are for, uh, the ball is for, uh, playing. You know what? Heck yeah. Probably don't need to be buying a, a ton of picnic stuff, but that's cool. I think we're moving away from the shops, actually. Oh, there's more on the other side. Okay. Uh, the sock quarter, rough and tough. Segura so style. Ooh, shoes. <laughs> so I guess I just run straight across. Ooh, Pokeball. So, what do you want? Paldea and Whooper. Is it true that Whooper and Paldea are venomous? I have a blue Whooper I caught in another region. Um, well, I like my Whooper, but, um,. I can come back here. This looks like a restaurant, maybe? Oh, okay, yeah, looks like food. sell. Oh, you sell a couple of things. Okay. Come on, load up the player model. You got shoes. Oh, those are some funky boots. Okay. Different gloves. You got some bags. Don't like that one. <laughs> I can get little baseball caps. Oh, I can get one of my starter. I don't want to right now, but I can. Oh, cool. I can get, like, tights that go all the way up my legs. Don't like those, though. Oh, I kind of like those. Dress shoes. What do those look like? Oh, those are kind of cute. That's all they have here, okay. I don't really like the dress shoes that much, but I kind of want a pair of these big old boots. Oh wow, that's a little pricey. Not yet. like somebody's house. <laughs> okay, so there's Dilly Bird Presents. Oh, maybe it was this one up here with like the uh, presents in the window. I just kind of skipped over it. Oh, it's not actually a viable shop. Okay. Oh, it's literally across the street. Okay. I'm gonna look at the socks. And then I will stop shopping. <laughs> I don't really care for crew socks. Yeah, I'm wearing those. Do you have anything other? Ooh, tight. 
it. <laughs> the pink is fun. Yeah, I think I'm gonna buy the pink. No, not yet. I'm gonna make an outfit. Probably, I, you know I don't actually know how to get changed. I should, should have probably figured that out before I, uh... Nope, that's not it. Uh... Probably not options. Shoot, <laughs> I've made a mistake. I don't actually know how to change my clothes. Oh, my. I don't think it's going to be in my Pokedex. I wonder how many of these there are because I haven't actually looked at this since I started the game I knew it existed I just couldn't remember how to get to it Look at the picture. Neat. Okay, what other op buttons are there? Uh, that's what there's that. Oh, okay, so I guess that's a shortcut if we just want to use it. Um, maybe I have to find a place to get changed? What if I walk back in here? Can I change my clothes in here? No. to the school and see if I can change clothes in my dorm room? I should have just put the clothes on as I purchased them, but...
No, I don't want to take any classes right now. I'm going back. Oh, I can talk to some more people. But let's go to our dorm room first. Um, there's a closet. Okay, no. That's the bathroom. Yeah, sure, take a nap. I'm just going to Google this. It's fine. Yay, my party's all healed. I think they already were, but... Once you have... When you close in the bag, you can change into them anytime by pressing the left directional pad button. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> That's okay. I don't... I don't know how I missed that. So we want this hat, which is very cute. Or the space hat, which is also very cute. I'm gonna start with the pink one. Put on our new boots. A little redder than I thought they were, but that's okay. Um, put on our tights. <laughs> we are definitely a little bright. Uh, no, I don't like the school shoes. Sneakers are fine, but they don't look good with those, so we're going to keep with the boots. Um, does this look better with the other hat? No, actually, it looks better with the pink one. What about gloves? We just have the school gloves. Okay. Yes. Heck yeah, all right. I don't really know how I'm supposed to know that. Oh, TM machine tracking, okay. Uh, so what does up and down do? Oh, okay, up is emoting. <laughs> oh, uh, down is camera, okay. I can't use my camera in my dorm? All right. near where we were and let's just keep exploring um oh we're rotated all right uh okay so there's a titan over here this is the gym we were near so if we let's see what's the best way across probably just either straight across or around the back but i, I kind of want to explore like over here and stuff Ooh, we might be able to swim up the river. This way, so maybe if I so that is my destination. It's in that general direction. Okay. So it looks like I can't actually get through that. That's fine. Um might have to go through the desert, but I want to see if I can like go around. But you know what, let's just do it. Yep. What are you? Do you do I have I seen you before? No. 
Oh, you're a bird of some kind. A rufflet. Oh, okay. I'm familiar with that name. Oh, well, you're out. It's fine. You're added to my Pokedex now. <laughs> Speed is up. Okay. It's fine. Cool. Ooh, what is that weird spiky thing in the back? That looks neat. wants to learn a new move. Air Slash. Um... Hmm. Stronger, but less likely to hit. Um... You know what? Let's do it. Let's see, with its sharp claws, this Pokemon pierces its prey and then pecks at them. Although it also consumes berries, it's a carnivore at heart. Cool, okay, uh, where was... Yes, what are you? You are interesting looking. Oh, you're cool! You're like a weird bug thing. Larvesta. Okay, that was super effective, but... Oh, you caught me on fire. It's fine. That's fine. I'm just gonna throw a ball at you at this point. I wonder, are you the evolved form of something or not. Ah, oh, you got out. It's fine. I don't I don't wanna attack you anymore. I want to uh Yeah, I'm just gonna Oh, I've got Ultra Balls in my inventory. Where did those come from? Got it, okay. You're really cool looking. Ooh, Bun leveled up. In ancient times, Larvesta was worshipped as the emissary of the sun. However, it was also views, viewed as a burden since it also caused forest fires. It's a fire bug. Oh, that is cool. Um, look at your summary. You know what? I don't think I have a fire type in my party right now. And, uh. Oh, there's one of these big, uh, big things. Here. That's water. So I want to... Oh right, it lets me pick out of here. Um... Wait, let, me, 
me go back. Uh, okay, so that's, I think, a normal type that terrace to uh, water. So I Yeah, let's 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 try you. Good, I was right. All right. Nope, defense rose. That's going to be annoying. <laughs> So you, yikes, you are way up there. Uh, it's fine. Yay, I think I healed us all. Not that it really matters, but to try it. I don't think I've tried that yet. Oh yeah, attack me, why don't you? Why don't you attack one of my teammates, huh? your uh, defense can't get any higher. <laughs> oh no, yay, my accuracy went down. again. And maybe one of my uh, teammates will hit it enough to knock it out of... Uh... I thought you were asleep. Why are you hitting me with bulldoze? there yet? Yeah, yeah, mud slap, it's fine. There we go. And I might as well. some purple boots to go with this outfit, not the reddish ones. Yay, we caught it!
cool. Let's see, though a slow walker, Mudbray is plenty strong. Its pace doesn't change even when it's loaded with 50 times its own body weight. Oh cool, we hadn't caught one of those before either. We've just clearly fought them before, okay. Okay, so where we wanna go is just over that ridge. So we're just gonna skirt the ridge and see if we can't get around. Might not be able to. Oh, there's some ruins over here. Neat. Oh, there's one of those uh, Tinka things over there. Oh, come on. No. I don't want to fight you. I just want to grab that. Thank you. Oh, and you're evolved for me. Hey. Fight me. Tinka Tink. Still don't know what Moldbreaker does. Oh, I'm low on health here. Uh, doesn't say. Okay. Um, I think this will slow you down. Okay, it lowered your attack. And now you're on fire. Okay. We now have a time limit for uh, catching you, but that's fine. Lowers their special attacks. What does this do? Oh, if, if I eat the berry, if I've got a berry. I don't think you have a berry. Dang. Ghastly, like right in the background. <laughs> okay, yeah. So, what do we have? Effective, effective, not very effective. swap you in, because I don't think you can hurt me too badly. Let's see, I'm just gonna... You know what? Throw an Ultra Ball. I don't know where I found it, but I will take it. There's something cool in the background there, too. I don't know what that is. This Pokemon pounds iron scraps together to make a hammer. It will remake the hammer again and again until it's satisfied with the result. You are cute. I'm gonna go in the box for now, but I like you. Okay, yeah, what are you? Have I? No, I have not seen one of you before. I should. I probably should have picked a different one to go out front, but it's fine. I assume this is not going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. Safeguard. So is that a defense? Probably. Okay. I don't know. Let's punch you. Cool. Hypnosis. Am I going to fall asleep? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm asleep, I know. Yeah, 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 okay. Bronzor, okay. Please wake up! I guess I could use a, a like a wake up item, but. Imprison. Bronzor steal any moves its target shares with it. It looks like none.
Okay, thank you for waking up, Krabby. I don't want to take you out. I just want to... Oh, right. This is a multi-hit. Don't hit it too much. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I'm just going to throw a ball at you and see what happens. Cool. Oh, and we leveled up. Let's see. Bronzor. They are found in ancient tombs. The patterns on their backs are said to be imbued with mysterious power. You are cute. You're a steel psychic type. Send your box for now. In the bag, we need to okay revive you, and I'm probably just gonna put somebody out and else out in front for right now. Good on, get out in front. Get another one of these. They're cute. I have one. I wanna I wanna see what it evolves into. Bite. Oh, it's speed ro rose. Cool. <laughs> I love how the astonish move is just turns around and plays peekaboo. the desert. It is. I don't know how far it'll take us, but we are out of the desert. Oh, is that like a mama fan fanby? Ah, I think it must be. I'm just gonna casually avoid you. Oh, is that a Pokemon? Yeah, it is. It's like a dung beetle. It's like a literal dung beetle. Relor. Oh, you're neato. Um... I'm gonna regret this. Lick. Bug bite. Yeah, okay. Not very effective. Cool. And you're paralyzed. Cool. Lick you a few more times. At least get you into the yellow. Rolls its mud ball around while the energy it needs for evolution matures. Eventually, the time comes for it to evolve. You're neat. Uh, oh, I didn't actually. Well, I can nickname you Rolly because I brought this up by accident. I kind of want to put you in the party, uh. Instead of Floppy? I like Floppy, but... I want to see what you evolve into. Okay, uh... You know what? I'm just going to have a picnic. Oh, I didn't change my, uh... Like, stuff. But that's okay. We can do that later. Here, have a bath. Oh, you don't like that, huh? It's fine. Oh, you're cute, though. You're weird, but cute. Pup. 
Happy. You're so cute, I love you. You're actually probably my favorite in my party right now. Yes! Bath time! Use a happy puppy. I think you're mostly just putting up with me bathing you. <laughs> Have I actually, like, petted you? <gasps> it jumped up on the ball! You're cute too. You're weird, but cute. Would you like a bath? Probably not, but. Oh, uh, let's see, have I pet everybody? Not you. Hey, have a pet. There we go, you're all clean now. Okay, I think I washed everybody. Can I Let's see? Ooh, I can redecorate. Let's put out the battle tablecloth. And... Water bottle? Did I buy another water bottle? Yeah. Okay. We're good. Choose a ball. A marrow ball. Yeah, play with that ball. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I was trying to help. Oh, I can't, I can't get over there. Oh, yeah. Let's make a sandwich. Just make a little sandwich. Can make a pickle sandwich. There's nothing on it but pickles and olive oil. I don't know what that last ingredient is, but that's okay. Uh, I don't think we can make most of these. Oh, we can make that one. Catching power grass. But we're gonna see more ghosts. You know what? Let's do it. The idea of like just flat out sticking a like maybe it's just potato, but it's like 
A por potato tortilla. I should have put that on top. No, don't fall off. No, it's gone forever. Oh well. Doesn't have to be a good sandwich. Bonk. All done. It's not, I didn't do a good job. I should have put the meat and cheese down first. it an original probably because I uh, screwed up but uh, that's another story <laughs> all right we're probably done here oh, wrong button. Uh, pack a go yes I'm done and then because I'd like to well, actually what are your moves You've got rollout, mud shot, bug bite, and takedown. You've got boosted accuracy. Neat. Has a sturdy body. You know, you can go in front for a little bit. Oh, cool. I don't. Do I want to jump off? I mean, that's where I want to go, right? Uh. Sorta? Where is this? No, wrong button. Where's this on the map? Yeah, that is where we want to go. I don't know if I want to jump off a cliff to do it, but... Is there a safe way down, perhaps? Probably not. West Province, Area 2. Okay, what if we get on our big dog? And just scooch our way down the hill. There we go. <laughs> Don't recommend that uh, in real life, but uh, in the game it's cool. What are you? I don't recognize you. Oh gosh, you're level 33? This was a mistake. You're gonna beat me down. Oh, you're a ghost Terra type. Neat. I kind of want you, even though you're going to kick my backside. Well, roll out. Curse. Cut its own HP and put a curse on me. Oh, I did almost no damage. Raleigh is affected by the curse. Okay. Oh, it's just repeating the same thing we did before. Is that what the curse is? Ouch. Okay. That's fine. You're not my only Pokemon. Come on, Krabby, I know you can do it. I don't know why I'm using rock-type moves against a rock Pokemon when I have to get it down low enough to break through its Terra. Okay, I think that did it, though. You look like you could be a Minecraft creature. Oh, you're gonna be hard to catch because I can't do level 30s yet. Like, you won't listen to me. But I caught ya, so you can just hang out in the box, I guess. I should probably do another gem before long so that I cannot catch higher level things. Let's see. 
It compresses rock salt inside its body and shoots out hardened salt pellets with enough force to perforate an iron sheet. Knackle stack. No, no nickname. You can go to the box for now, but you're neato. Yeah, you're the evolved form of Knackley. Ah, no! Okay, we're, we're like the same level. I'm not too worried. Uh, Rock Smash. Ouch. Okay. That was a critical. Okay. And super effective. Yep, come on, do the move. Oh god, that har did hardly anything. Well. You're gonna knock me out here. <laughs> Oh wow, you didn't. That did. You know what, let's just run away. I didn't want to fight you in the first place. Let's get away from this giant crowd of bulls. Oh, there's a cave here, look at that. Nope, get away from here! Nope, don't want to fight you. Uh, Colonnade Hollow, one of the ten sites of Paldea. Oh, there's a trainer here. Where is the nearest uh, healing place? Uh, town over here. That's where I set my destination just because it was somewhere that wasn't... I think I can clear that destination. Um, yeah, this is our destination now. Ah, stop it! I don't want to fight you, especially not with my uh, no, I'm Larvesta. Cool. All right, I think we're I think we're away from that. Is that like a tower or something? That's Nino. Oh, that's like a lighthouse. I guess it's in the town we're going to. Or near it, yeah, it's like overlooking it. We're just gonna stop moving. Okay. I don't think I've fought anybody here. Four, four in this area, okay, let's heal. Yep. This area is pretty, I like it. It's like an island out there. So, oh yeah, I wanna go look at the lighthouse. Can I get back up here if I jump down? Probably not. Oh wait, maybe. Yeah, there's an incline over here, okay. Oh, my phone won't let me do it, okay. There we go. Oh, it's like a big sludge thing. I, I can't remember your name, but you're honestly higher level than me. Actually, everything over here kind of is. So we might just uh, get a fly point and then get out of here. Yeah, this is considered that, that I was briefly in the town. We can climb a lighthouse, that sounds cool. Yeah, let's go up. P 
you, I think I'll definitely be using the flying taxi to get back to Cascarafa. Did you cross the Asado Desert to get here as well? You didn't happen to see some kind of weird Pokemon on the way here, did you? No, actually, I skirted the outskirts of it. Ooh, Hyper Beam. There's islands bubbling up out of the ocean. Anything else around here? Can I go any higher? I don't think so. I hear people's Pokemon making noise. No. I wanted to open the map, thank you. I didn't fall, I climbed down a ladder. Okay, well, I can definitely uh, teleport back to there. Um, like, everything here is just a little too high level for me. So let's see, why don't we... What time is it? 7.22. What's on this side? Because we haven't explored much over here either. Let's see, there's a gym. There's also a gym, like, right here by this desert. In fact, it's, like, right here, the place we ran away from. Uh, what are you? You're also a gym. Uh, normal type user is in the middle of the pack when it comes to gym leaders. He has a day job helping run the Pokemon League, where he is not the best rated worker. He loves to eat. Nope, I didn't want to close the whole map. What about you? What does it say about you? Water type user is a good fit for those with battle experience. He's the chef and owner of the Kofu Lounge, and his zeal for helping trainers grow has led him to craft a taxing gym test. That's considered area three. I don't really understand these routes because, uh, like, there's one. Oh no, these are the order we did things in, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so it kind of shows you your path a little bit. That's cool. Oh, who's over here? Is this a, another gym? Let's see, let's go down here. Yeah, okay. The Alphornada gym. Bewitching Mutation. Psychic type user is a real force, even among gym leaders. She runs a cosmetic brand, which she also models for, and aims to be the very best in everything she does, including battle. Yeah, okay, so I don't I don't want to do that. Um I mean we're like right here. I know we uh Okay, so that is a place we have been. Okay. I know we like ran away from there, but now we can uh fly across the desert without having to actually go through it. And I've got a little bit of time left. I don't have a lot of time left, but we might be able to take on a gym before we finish up. Okay, yes, I am all full. Okay. So here's the town. I think the gym's on the second floor. And this looks like an elevator of some type. Not a very safe elevator, mind you, but... Like, I'm pretty sure if I came across something like that in the real world, I would be, like, clinging to the gate out of terror. But it's fine. Walton Veluza, I'm late, I'm late. Whoop. Ah, Kofu, wait! Ah, he got away. How am I supposed to return this to him now? Oh, hey, you're here as a gym challenger, right? Yeah? I knew it. Of course you are. That big man that just left is Kofu, gym leader of the Kaskarafa Gym. He has a bit of a childlike side to him, and today he's run off to the market without his wallet. He'll be in big trouble without it. That's where you come in. Kind gym challenger, could you please take Kofu's wallet to him? Right? Oh, you're too kind. I'd give you a gym badge right now if I could. Here's his wallet. I'm counting on you. Th 
This could be your gym test here. If you do this for me, you pass. It's headed to Porto Marinda. It's on the other side of the desert to the west. So the place we just flew from. There are many dangerous Pokemon in the desert. I mean, maybe we should go through the desert to level up a little. Head to Porto Marinda. Over here. So we're gonna... Nope. Set his destination. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, why not? We will we will fight stuff in the desert and level up a little bit. But we will be flying back here if we have to come back to the gym to fight the guy. Oh, let me out. Oh, what's that? You friendly with your Pokemon? Yeah, my Pokemon love me. <laughs> okay, off the thing so I can figure out who I'm talking to. Hi, you know, as you spend time with your Pokemon, they'll grow friendlier towards you. Can I see how friendly you and your Pokemon are? Yeah, sure. Which Pokemon can I have a look at? I mean, might as well tell me how friendly I am with my starter. Whoa, you're the best friends ever. I can tell just being together gives you warm fuzzies. Ooh, we get something. A best friends ribbon. Oh, that's awesome. I bet I get that for a, a bun here, too. My dox bun. Pretty great friends. You sure mean a lot to each other. Okay, so we're not besties, but that's awesome. We earned a ribbon for for our Pokemon. Like, the others I know aren't going to be, because most of them are new. I mean, maybe Krabby. Krabby's been with us a long time. Oh, Hex has more honey for us. Pokemon Arena there. Alright, let's go through the desert for real this time. I kind of wanted to avoid it, but I do need to level up my Pokemon, because I imagine this gym's going to be a little on the tougher side. Two whole decades. I've got 20 years of studies at the Academy under my belt. Louis the Student. Oh, right, I've got my, uh, ro Rolly in front. Okay, we are higher level than you, so there's that. Flail! Little hit, okay. Ooh, not a good hit, but... Bite. Oh, do I not get to move after that? Or does it go multiple in a row, maybe? You know, I should really read the descriptions of my moves. Huh. Ow. Using rollout is apparently like, uh... Uh, just hitting the auto battle button. <laughs> that was weird, okay. But we won. Oh, no. Um... No, I keep my current Pokemon. I should really read the description of that move. No, it's not gonna let me. Do I just keep using it forever? Oh, snap! I one-shot you! Yay, I won! And I only had to push two buttons. 20 years for this! Yeah, you just got beat by some kid who's new to the area, thanks. Okay, first of all, heal. Second of all, what is that move? Okay. No, I wanna I wanna read about my moves. Um rearrange moves, switch graph view. Oh. Um, I'm 
just gonna pick one randomly. And then I'm gonna change my mind, okay. Roll out. User continuously rolls into the target over five turns. It becomes more powerful each time it hits. Okay. Okay, lowers speed and has a bit of attack. Uh... Okay, so we're, we're good. I was just... That was not what I was expecting. Oop, there's a TM. Yeah, I guess this will be worth it. We can uh, pick up items and stuff, even if we avoid all the Pokemon. <laughs> oh. Oh, you're like a weird cactus thing. Oh, just in time, too. Rolled over by an elephant. What are you? A Cacnea? Okay, I don't want to do rollout. Let's slow you down, maybe. Yeah, not very effective. That's okay, but I slowed you down a little. Leech seed. Okay, so you're gonna heal off of me. Yep, 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 okay. That's gonna get annoying very quickly, but... Well, let's try this. safe to do this again. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep, bullet seed. Yep, 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 we're fine. Okay, and yeah, you're gonna heal. Yeah, really fainted. That's that that's about what I expected. Choose next Pokemon. Mm, doesn't matter. Because I'm not gonna be attacking. I'm just gonna be throwing Pokeballs at this point. was caught. It lives in arid locations. Its yellow flowers bloom once a year. You're neat. <laughs> I'm gonna nickname you King, because the flower on your head looks like a crown. And I am uncreative. But you can go to the box, because I don't really need a grass type right now. And by that I mean I don't really know Pokemon types, so uh, I like the team I have even though it's probably very suboptimal. Oh, neat, an ostrich thing? Okay, I, I don't have time to fight you. It's already getting late. Oh, I think those are the ruins I was already at. You're like a snake and a donut? Okay. Out of here. Go around the big rock. Ooh, that's like a half buried tower. Oh, we're getting a phone call. Oh, I bet we're near the uh, Titan Pokemon. Hey, Yurgs. Apparently, this desert is home to the Quaking Earth Titan. Speaking of which, the ground's been shaking off and on and uh, making me feel a bit sick. Sorry, I'm just gonna sit down and rest a little bit before I get back to Titan hunting. Actually, we could just take on the Titan and then do the gym. Probably gonna, you know destroy us, but that's another story. Uh, oop, Pokeball. Oh, a burn heal. So it's 
gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, there's a trainer. There's the town. Now I want to kind of take on the uh, Titan. It's over here by this tower, which it looks like we can climb it. Okay, first off, get the TM. Nice, rain dance. No, well, let me... That's too bad. That would have been cool. Like, I feel like I bet there's something up there. Alright, let's check the map. Uh... This way. Because I have apparently changed my mind about what I want to do. Why does that look like a giant wheel? I bet that's what we're looking for. Oh, I should, uh... Heal you up. Whoa, you're neat. Alright, um... Honestly, we should probably put the Pokemon we know are how to use near the front of the party. <laughs> oh, you're cool, whatever you are. Are there more of you? I want one. Whoa! What are you called? Oh, hey, phone call. Hey! Hello, Yurks. This is Professor Churro. Iron Treads is a Pokemon that came from the great crater of Paldea. I'm gonna regret this. I ask that you do whatever is needed to subdue it for me. With all due caution, of course. Iron Treads. Oh my gosh! So it's probably metal. I don't know what's strong against metal, so I'm just gonna hit you with some rocks. Knock off. Ow. Made me mad. You're probably gonna knock all my Pokemon out. Oh my gosh, that did no damage at all. Okay. Yeah. Bad choice of moves. Um, okay, so my attack... Okay, yeah. Well. Let's try this. Nope. Yeah, that took me out. <laughs> I mean, if nothing else, losing to it will get, um... The, uh... Information about it into my, uh... Pokedex, probably. Yeah, here, let's try confusing you, please. Rapid spin. Ow! Major speed go up, yeah, that's fine. Okay, super effective. Okay, so whatever you are, water is uh, decent against you. Mm, this move always goes first. You know what? Always goes first sounds like a win to me. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Alright, Bun, you got this. Yeah, okay. Not very effective. Also not very effective. Fight. Ouch. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yikes, okay, um... 
What does this do? Oh, nah. Just bite it again. Probably gonna hurt me. Yeah. Oh, it did not take me out. Yeah, your speed's up. Okay. Okay, let's swap Pokemon. Thanks, Bun. Good job. God, that thing's so cool. Oh my gosh, one hit. Okay. All I have left are insects, it's fine. <laughs> Lowers a special attack. Um. Here. Iron head. Yeesh. Oh, look at the little things on the ground. Cloaking itself a flame user text target. Okay. Fire. Wow, these are all uh, accuracy, accuracy ones. Dang. Okay. I mean, technically, Bun has a singular hit point yet left. But wow, this thing's strong. Okay. What if I. Use this on Quaxwell or Floof, because I give you a name. Yep. I need like a water fairy, but um. Go on, Floof. What is my strongest water move? I just want to see how much damage I can do before it takes out my whole party. Dang it. Okay. I think it's just too strong for me right now. That is the coolest thing I've ever seen, though. Yeah. Where am I gonna wake up? Yep, let's get healed up. So which town are we in? Okay, so back where we were. All right. I think with that, I do have to end the stream here. I'm gonna see if anybody is live. Um, ah, I know where we're going. So if you're trying to avoid uh, Tears of the Kingdom spoilers, uh, maybe don't follow along with the raid, but we're gonna go say hi to Tavi, who's raising money for St. Jude. Um, she's doing a whole month long thing and she is awesome. So we're gonna go say hi, and I will see everybody next week. I think we are going to just do the gym. <laughs> like we originally planned, not do the Titan, but you know. So let me get this raid started. I really thank everybody for watching. Make sure I spelled her name right, Tavin. Yes. All right, and I will see everybody next week. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with this game. Honestly, I am. So, yeah, I will see everybody over at Tavi's.